The company seems to have disputed that they are no longer within the means of the contract. And to critics who say, this is just a political interpretation, you, you've, you've never liked this deal, you, you've never wanted it, it, it to succeed. If, if, I, if I didn't want this to su succeed, I would have deep sixed it somehow in the, in the past. To me, it was something that I inherited. I thought it was too expensive, yes indeed. But the fact of the matter is, I have an obligation as governor to make sure they succeed. And one of the most important things to have them succeed is we have a contract that clearly states what the expectations are. And that contract no longer does that. In, in one of the letters, they said, at this point, we shall be evaluating all yeah. available options relating to the WEDC contract. What did you take that to mean? I have no idea what that means. Legal? I mean, is, is the state w willing to defend itself in court? If, if well, certainly. I mean, uh, I, don't care, I, don't, I don't care what, kind of con what type of court we're in. If a, if, a, if a contract says X and they're doing Y, th there's, no, there's no court in the state of Wisconsin that's going to agree with them on this. So that, that, that seems like an empty threat. The governor insists conversations are ongoing. The company says it hopes to reach what it calls a mutually acceptable resolution. At the Capitol, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. The state's contract is based on the number of jobs the company creates. Last year, Foxconn did not qualify for tax credits.